As Hurricane Irma moves closer, South Florida roadways will begin to look much different. Construction equipment, barriers and signs were starting to disappear from many of the projects on I-95, I-75, Florida's Turnpike, State Roads 826 and 836, and many city streets. The plastic barrels and metal signs designed to keep people from driving off unfinished roads and ramps will be removed so the safety devices don't become projectiles in high winds. Concrete barrier walls will remain. There will be no more construction-related lane closures through the hurricane to keep all possible evacuation routes wide open. All tolls have been suspended on Florida's Turnpike, I-95 express lanes, state roads, and all expressways statewide to free the flow of potential evacuees. Contractors have been lowering high-mast streetlights on the highways in Broward. Drainage systems are being cleared and mounds of dirt can be covered so heavy rains don't wash debris into drains and cause flooding. Road rangers will patrol major roadways for disabled vehicles until winds reach 40 miles per hour. They could return to help stranded motorists after the winds drop back below 40 miles per hour. And police and fire rescue vehicles typically stop patrolling when winds reach 45 miles per hour. Wayne Rooston, SunSentinel.com.